The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. First question. Yeah, I'll start with live. Well, you've summed it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got no answer for that. That's just. Then you. I, you should sit here, and I'll ask you the question. Um, yeah, you, you have summed it. It's, it's very, very pleasing. Pleasing for him because he has had such a really tough time. Tough time. I think he thought his career was over. It was a very serious injury. And um, he's, um, he's a really likable lad. And just to get on, you see the, the feeling. It was as if he'd won the World Cup for us. And, um, and also, I have to say that I was pleased for Burke. Just nice, nice to score a goal, nice for him. Um, and it wasn't so much maybe for, for what he did in the game. I thought the game perhaps you know, um, was a tough match for him, which I expected. I'm talking about Graham now. But just because of, because of his attitude in training, because of, and I know training is a totally different aspect, different to the game itself. But, you know, wanting to try and score goals, wanting to try and put the ball in the net, and the same with Judge. And... Um, and to a certain extent, got some sort of reward for it tonight. Really pleasing. Were you aware that's the first goal scored for him by a big man in 40 years? Uh, I've just been told that there. But, yeah. So that's something that underlines the achievement and how, how rare it is? Well, I, well it is. Uh, of course it's rare. And I think that that's... Um, I think that... Um, that uh, just pl pleasing for the lad for a start. And naturally pleasing for the club. I just want to say thanks to them for... I know they, they suffered a defeat last night and was able to get to the second half after there was a presentation made to John and James in the other side of the city and um, so able to get to the second half and I obviously he's a good player for them to miss out and um, and um, you know to lose the game in the fashion in which they did you know it's just uh, so I have to say a big thank you to them tonight for um, for not playing him in a game which is, was of great importance to them. Yeah, I mean, he's. I think he has got designs on coaching and managing, and uh, I think that's no bad thing. I think he has. Uh, he's got a. Um, he's got a really nice temperament, John. Oh, all I will say, and which I, it's almost repeating myself. That he has been um, in my time here. At, um, uh, he has he's been excellent round about the place. He is a, a great, you know, he's really great attitude. Players respect him greatly for what he's done in the game, and um, and that was why after uh, uh, after the uh, the Euros that I really did want him to stay on. I knew that perhaps as younger players come in. Um, and maybe take his place, that I felt that um, he might play fewer games for us, which was the way it turned out. But still, his, just his, his presence around the, uh, around the place was worth that in itself. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm obviously delighted for him, and I think, yeah, he's, um, you know, there's nothing to say that he couldn't be uh, a future really terrific manager, coach, and, I mean, he's... Work with the very, very best. So he's um, he's got all the. I think he's got all the attributes. Anyway, let me put it this way. And uh, who knows? He may well be doing this job uh, in the not too distant future. Ed, Martin, uh, uh, this is another competitive uh, uh, period of football. <coughs> uh, you mentioned that you know you had the post summer matches and um, and Do you feel that your squad is? Is it stronger for going into this campaign compared to the last? Into the other? 
Well, I, 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 think that's, I think that's really debatable. I think that uh, we have, um, I think Gareth had just said to me, just coming through here, that we have had eight debutants in the last, the last three games. And now, and I know sometimes it is difficult for someone, just as I mentioned, young Graham tonight, trying to, um, trying to establish himself, trying to make a mark in the game. Sometimes it passed him by, not necessarily always his own fault. Uh, and the second half, I felt, I, I just felt the first half was a, a little bit like the friendly game. Maybe that's to do with, you know, John and, um, and all, the, um, all the attendant things that were happening around about it. The second half became really competitive. We had to go and try and uh, get an equaliser and try and win the game. So from that viewpoint, that was nice. You can learn some things from that. One I did learn, I think we all thought there that Rice was the most outstanding player, uh, probably on the pitch. And um, but are we a stronger squad? I think that we. I think that th these games coming up are difficult matches, and we'd need to try and be. We'd need to try and be at our best. Remember, we were coming off. Um, um, a decent European campaign, the Euros, we went straight into Serbia, so there wasn't much chance of making a lot of changes. At least we've been able to see some more players. And, uh, it's, and it's really up to those players now to, one, get into their club teams. Some of them are not playing regularly here at club level. And two, go and, go and make a mark at club level. And three, then try and take it on here. Paul. I think that that will be entirely up to him. I think his attitude in the training uh, ground has been great. He's a very he's an exceptionally nice footballer. I think that uh, I think it was quite quick tonight for him, even though it was uh, in in the first half. And as I said to you, some of it. Uh, some of it was maybe a little bit strange to him, as I expected to be. But really now for him, um, whatever he has designs on, I think he has to try and uh, push on. If it's, for instance, if he wants to go back and play in England, I think these things will only be given the biggest boost of confidence he could get. So, but really it will be up to him as, as much as anything else. So I'll keep an eye on things, see how he goes. But, um, but really delighted for him tonight. Like that you got the goal. I, I think, well, tonight, uh, I mean, I'm, I, I'm delighted for, um, uh, delighted for Rice. I thought he was exceptional tonight. He showed a great maturity. He's played a ball to the James McLean there in the last couple of minutes of the game, looked up, saw him, Played that ball, I've just said on television, as if he had played, you know, a hundred times for uh, for his club and a hundred international games. It was a brilliant ball. It just, although it might have sounded or looked quite simple, it was a really good ball. You know, other people might just to maybe try to left foot toss it into the penalty area. He's found the man. He played it with precision, and it allowed James to go into the penalty area and eventually, Judge follows it in and puts it in the net. So I thought he was outstanding. Where he plays is another point. You know, we've had him we played centre midfield tonight, and I thought he he commanded that brilliantly. He can get close to players, can use the ball, and, um, and he's a you know he's 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 a proper talent. Do you think that's a good I, it's a good point. I, I don't I don't know where the, where where West Ham feel is, uh, and I'm not so sure that he knows himself exactly where he wants to play. The very fact that he played it so assuredly tonight. You know, augurs well for him as a player, which is the most important thing, and hopefully for us. Yeah. A few questions on daily papers. Just to start on life, more questions. 